We have made it. This is around the same spot I was fishing yesterday and I was casting two fish. I was more over at that pool right there. Just like that. Our messy play right here. We're gonna throw this on. That's just barely on there, so we'll see what happens. I'm gonna throw this off to the left side. I'm just gonna keep it right in front of me so I can see it. I'm just gonna put my foot over it. There we go, just like that. We're just gonna cast it out and pop it like a little Carolina rig. Guys, we got something. We got something, guys. It doesn't feel that big. Oh, yeah. Off the cut bait. Oh, yeah. Never mind. He might be a good one. What do we got? Oh, my gosh. This might be a keeper run. Okay, I don't have a nut today, so we're going to work this guy. I'm going to tire him out. Wow, I got bit that quick. I think it's a keeper. You gotta be at least 18 inches. Oh my gosh. We're just gonna work this one slow, I guess. Tire him out. Oh boy. That's gotta be a good one. That's gotta be a keeper. Oh my gosh, I got another fish. This is messed up. This one's a big one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a big one. Oh, I see the problem. I just caught two reds. I don't know if I can keep them. Oh my gosh, this is what we can do. I got some dingers in here. These dingers are five inches. So, if we lay these dingers out, five inches, five inches, five inches, and then this will be 20. So this fish is about 20 inches. This one, I think, is a keeper. She's a little close. I can't really tell. She get released. And then this one right here is a keeper, I think. I forgot I had a measuring tape right here. 20 incher. Look at that. As I'm happy, 20 incher. That's what I was thinking. It was around 20 inches. Well, guys, we're back at the creek. Same creek I've been fishing for the last three days. It was good fishing yesterday. It was good fishing the day before. We are here during the high tide. I've been coming normally during the incoming low. So I don't know if this is gonna play a part, but check it out. Not much wind today, which is beautiful. I can actually float. I'm not gonna be blowing all over the place. We got all these pelicans just hanging out. He's taking a nap. Oh, he's looking at me. And we have some leftover shrimp from the other day. This is leftover fresh shrimp, so I'm hoping it's gonna be a little bit better than the frozen stuff. It feels a little bit softer. I got it rigged up on this hook with a one ounce weight. So we are currently approaching the spot where I caught those reds yesterday. I just hooked up onto one. This feels nice. I'm gonna get tangled probably. My own line. Yeah, I'm tangled in my line. This feels good. Off the shrimp. Oh my gosh, this one feels really good. This might be a big end. This was off the shrimp. Oh my gosh. This one's big. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. That might be another keeper. It's a good fish. Wow. Oh my gosh, this one's big. It's really pulling. Yeah. Yep, easy keeper. Well guys, fish number two of the day. I'm pretty sure this thing's a keeper as well. We're gonna measure him up. I, I did a brief measurement. He was around 22. Just to be sure. Do it from the tail and he is 22 inches. Look at that, we got our dinner for the day. I would say that was a pretty good day of fishing. Happened to get two red fish. But we're gonna be heading back right now. There is a chance of rain in a couple hours and I don't wanna be out here when that happens. 
Got behind the head. Numero uno is finished. I did a pretty good job on this one. I just took my time. This one's much better. Well guys, that was very hard. I am not good at filleting these redfish. Very, well I, I can do a good job. It just takes me a while. But we got some nice fillets right here. We got two of them in this bag and two in the other. Good fillets, nice hunk of meat. Check it out, there's our fish. White flesh. And we're gonna be blackening this fish today. We got Tony's Spicing Herbs, Creole seasoning. And we also have some Slap Ya Mama. Once you got your butter nice and melted up, they recommended you take some of these fillets and to just soak them in the butter. And I coat it pretty good. Just let it sit there for about two, three minutes. I did bring a few things with us. We're gonna try some of this guacamole I saw at the store. Just gonna dab that on one side. Also saw some of this roasted garlic. We'll put that on one side. Last but not least, we got some Wickles Original Pickles. There we have it. Look at that sandwich. This is a red fish sandwich with guacamole, garlic, mayo, and some pickles. Check out that beautiful sandwich. It's dripping. Let's try it out. Really good. Very tender, flaky meat. Well, I hope you guys and girls enjoyed that video. I had to cut it a little bit short because the black flies were going crazy I haven't really understood these things yet in Florida I haven't found any way to repel them or anything I've tried bug spray and I just have had no luck anyways if you like the video please give it a like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching